Okay, guys, I'm going to be doing a reading. What is your ideal person slash relationship? We're using Tarot del Toro today. But, um, I know, I know not all of you, like, I'm polyamorous, so, um, I would prefer to have multiple partners in my life. This is just going to be, like, um, the type of person you would ideally be with, the type of ideal relationship, or just, like, the main person, um, or the, like, main person partner in your life that would be like the most ideal relationship for you so the piles are going to be in the description they're going to be emojis i'll see you there hi pile one this is going to be your ideal person or relationship um just the ideal sort of partners you should be looking for for those of you who have multiple partners or um the ideal sort of main relationship in your life this is going to be romantic um slash sexual if you're not sexual if you're asexual just skip over like that sexual stuff isn't gonna resonate with you um but these are romantic relationships at the base so what is pile one's ideal partner what's the type of partner that pile one should be looking for what is their ideal relationship look like we have six of cups so your ideal partner is someone that um <clears throat> you can feel comfortable being vulnerable with um if you maybe act more mature in situation in most situations and you save your inner child for when you know nothing serious is going on you want the type of person you feel comfortable expressing your inner child with um and you feel comfortable not always having to stand in as the mature person. Um, this, ideally, you need pile one, someone you can feel comfortable talking to um, about deep emotional con concepts and about your past. Um, you need someone who's willing to listen to you and your reasoning for doing things because of the past you've had and because of your childhood um and the past relationships you may have had that also hurt you really your ideal person would be someone who's great at listening um and understanding complex emotional concepts um because you're kind of an, em an emotionally complex person and um, you know, you can understand that part of yourself easily, but partners you have had ha may have not been able to understand that even when you explain it to them. Um, so you just need someone who's like emotionally mature enough to, um, be able to understand and accept those parts of yourself and like the things about your past that make you the way you are now, um, and why that is. Um, yeah. Someone you can just be babyish with, and someone you are okay being vulnerable around. Like, um, you don't feel like you have to be someone you're not, you can just, um, be childlike, enjoy the time, be playful, and not really have to think about it so much. Um, someone who's obviously going would be easygoing um, and patient. You definitely need someone who's grounded within their emotional within their emotional stuff and within themselves. So they like, um, you know, aren't getting caught up in whatever you have got going on because you're a very emotionally complex person and maybe partners you've dated in the past could um get caught up in your stuff when you weren't even you know trying to get them caught up in that it's just what you have going on so you you ideally would need a partner who's grounded um very independent has a balanced sort of sense of like emptiness and wholeness inside of inside of them um emotionally wise mature and complex and who's able to act childlike with you you need someone who can not only you can 
express that childlikeness towards them, but they can reciprocate that same energy towards you so you feel trusting towards them and um, feel that they not only accept that side of you, but can mirror it in a way where y'all are sharing that experience together. So that's your ideal person relationship. By I wonder that's the type of person you should be looking for. If you were attracted to any other piles, you can choose those two. I pile two. You chose the starry sky emoji. This is going to be your reading. What is pile two's ideal person or relationship? What is... Oh, that came out fast. Five of Cups in reversed. So, you definitely need someone as a partner. Um, obviously, none of you have to just date one person. You can have multiple partners for those of you like, polyamorous like me. But um, the type of person you should be looking for would be very... Has, they have their shit together, basically. Someone who isn't struggling with um um finances or emotional stuff or spiritual stuff anything like that um obviously everyone is going to be having a struggle of some sort but really you are the type of person where you can't date someone who doesn't have their shit together because you get caught up in their um whatever they're trying to fix about themselves um you might have had a lot of pity party partners in the past like people who just were so stuck in their own self-pity that they couldn't even contribute much to a relationship but um i think that was just the universe trying to show you this is what you don't need this is the opposite of what's good for you in a relationship um because you thrive your best in a romantic relationship when you, um, you know, the other person has their shit together so you can do your own thing as well and have your own shit together. Because um, you tend to have your shit together by yourself, pal, too. But um, when other people come into the picture that don't have their shit together, it can kind of rock your whole stability and foundation. So you definitely need a partner who has everything together, is stable, is secure, um, not only in where they are right now, but where they're going, their future. You need a partner who has realistic um, ideals and expectations about um, themselves and the world around them and their society. Um, for some of you, you should try looking for someone who's more active in society, maybe who's doing entrepreneurship or... Um, is speaking out about issues that need to be talked about um but that's only for some of you that would be good for you but for a lot of you i'm seeing your ideal partner would kind of um not need to be told what to do, not need to be, like, shown a certain direction. Who, someone who doesn't need guidance, but, you know, has their own direction in life, has their own, like, they are they are comfortable making their own choices and stuff like that. Um, really just someone who's very solidly independent, because maybe you've had a lot of partners in the past who, like, would look for to you for guidance on where, where to go in life or what what choices to make and mm -hmm. that really just mud muddies you up you're like you're a helpful person you can give people advice but um you like for people to make their own choices when it comes to like a relationship with you um anyone would really but um you are not the type of person who is like trying to guide everybody else who is trying to show everybody else the direction you're really just trying to find your own direction and or just stay on the direction you're going so that stuff kind of throws you off course so you need someone who's also has their own set direction that they're going and they're not looking to you for guidance or whatever um honestly for a lot of you i'm feeling like a dominant energy here like you while you both, while in a relationship, you would both need independence in whoever you're in a relationship with, um, you value independence of each party very strongly. It's almost as if you would, and I'm not getting this energy from any 
imagery or anything. I'm just feeling it. Like, you would prefer someone dominant um, or strongly confident in their own abilities that they can do their own thing. Um, and they aren't trying to control you or whatever or dominate you or whatever, but they're just dominant within themselves and confident within themselves. And that makes you feel way more secure in a relationship because you're not having to worry about them and you can just worry about yourself. It's not even necessarily that you need someone to dominate you. Maybe for some of you, you would like someone dominant sexually. But for I'm feeling for romantically, most of you just need that person to have their own security and stability so that you can worry about your own security and stability. Um, you really value um, the other person to have independence and stability within themselves in a relationship. Like, that's something you extremely value, or if you don't already... Um, that is what you subconsciously and secretly want in a relationship is somebody who has those traits. And honestly, that would just work best for you and how you show romantic affection or sexual affection because um, that's just what you need. So ideally, this is the type of person you should be looking for. Someone who's like hardworking, down to earth, they have all their shit together, they're independent, they're very confident and maybe a little bit of a dominant personality or um, a strong personality, a very strong-headed one. Um, and because they have all this, they're, all, they're secure in what's going on in their lives, you can focus on your own security in your life. So that's your ideal person or partner that you should be looking for pile two. If you are attracted to any other piles, feel free to choose them as well. That's all for you. Choose the black card emoji. It's gonna be your reading on who is your ideal person partner in a romantic or sexual relationship. All my sexual peeps just skip right over the sexual stuff. It's not gonna apply to you. Um, again, polyamory is totally accepted here. This is just like the type of partner or partners that you should be looking for, the personality, the type of relationship y'all have. So, um, spirit, what's going on here? What's Pile Three's ideal person? What is that? What does that ideal relationship look like for them? What should they be looking out for in a relationship? Um, I'm definitely already feeling the energy that you need someone who's like fulfilled. You know, someone who feels fulfilled within themselves and isn't looking for more, isn't hungry for more, isn't like trying to like get more out of their lives, but they are fulfilled. And also someone who is stable. Some of you like would prefer someone with a lot of a good deal of money and that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm just putting that out there. Like some of you would prefer someone who has a good deal of money. Um, also, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like your ideal person maybe is not very talkative, is maybe plays things close to their chest and um, doesn't speak until it's absolutely necessary. Just someone who is very smart about how they use what they know to their advantage and is very smart about how they speak in conversations or what they bring to a conversation. Um... Yeah, this person might just seem very quiet, but intelligent um, and calculating. This person could seem very cold on the outside, but like, like these types of personalities could seem very cold on the outside just because of like, their like, you know, little persona. But in reality, these people are just very thorough with their logic and everything, and those things are important to them. They're not a cold person on the inside. Um, they just take, they just like to be very unbiased when working through their logic and being smart about things. So that's why they come across as cold because they're taking a step back to not have bias so they can be smart about things. Um, temperance. Someone who's definitely fulfilled in life, or at least is working towards fulfillment, and, um, isn't too worried about it, isn't too, like, going super fast to get it, but, um, 
who is just taking a very balanced approach to like get to where they want in life um you definitely work best in a romantic relationship or sexual relationship with someone who is level-headed and isn't super loud or super emotionally like overly emotionally expressive um you definitely work better with someone who can be level-headed be calm um talk things out before getting emotionally like distraught someone who yeah can just maintain that calmness and maturity no matter how stressful the situation gets um yeah your ideal relationship is a very balanced one like um y'all both have like your own work stuff going on in your life y'all both have your own social things that y'all go to and that takes up a good portion of y'all's lives but and that like a good half i would say but the other half you know is like balanced back to like y'all's relationship together so it's very 50 50 very balanced energy of like how much effort y'all are putting into the relationship um It's just you're the type of person pile three to have a lot of stuff going on in your life at any given time and you know you're going to be preoccupied with that as much as you still are going to put effort into relationships a lot of your time is going to be dedicated to those things that you have going on on any day um and you need a partner who also has their own things going on so they can you know be involved in that and are not like feeling like they're missing out on you when you have your own things going on that you need to focus on like there's an equal sort of y'all both have your own things going on type situation um at the same time that there's an equal sort of we're still putting effort into this even though we have those other things going on so y'all are both on the same page about that you need someone who's on the same page about that with you because maybe you could have had partners in the past who were upset about how much time you would put into them um or the fact that you had um your own things going on in your life um that was maybe too much or something or that they didn't approve of but yeah you definitely need someone who's able to be logical um and unbiased and someone who isn't trying to control you or um just emotionally like put their put their project their stuff onto other people um b before thinking things through first um you definitely are not good in relationships with overly emotional people or people who let their emotions get the best of them before they can be logical um but yeah that is your ideal person relationship if you were checked at any other piles feel free to choose those as well pile three hi pile four this is going to be a reading on an ideal person relationship. You chose a little family emoji. Again, like I addressed in all the other piles, this isn't just like one specific partner that you're supposed to have. I do support polyamory, so I think that everyone um, is going to have multiple partners in their life, maybe even at the same time. So um, this is really just the ideal type of person or people you should be looking for, for romantic relationships or for some of you sexual relationships. If you're asexual, just ignore any of the sexual stuff in this reading. So, what is Pile Four's ideal relationship look like? What do they need in a relationship? Oh, so I'm getting Scorpio energy from this. Um, Eight of Swords. You definitely need someone who isn't isn't here like they aren't here to just to like start drama or like be in the drama or whatever. But you aren't gonna be interested in a boring or vanilla relationship i guess you could say you work best in a relationship with a little bit of drama or tension and i want to stress that it's easy to slip into toxic patterns or toxic um relationships when you need that so it's really just about um finding a healthy balance of someone who can bring that spiciness or that extra drama or whatever it is to relationship um, or that just happens between y'all naturally from outside forces. Not someone who is toxic and is 
and, and they are the one who's like deliberately bringing drama to the relationship um i'm definitely not saying you should try to create your own drama in relationships because that's always going to backfire on you maybe this even pertains to just like kinkiness and creating power dynamics for you like you need a sort of um extra layer of power play whenever it comes to any of your relationships um this is this isn't even like fully a sexual thing for most of you this is just something you need like you don't feel fulfilled in normal or um what's seen as normal relationships just a vanilla like um it's hard to explain this because it's like it's drama but it's not necessarily a toxic drama it's almost like y'all are both deliberately doing things to like tease each other um and it's not in like a toxic way it's just to like stir the pot i guess you could say it's just to like keep things a little bit interesting um you need someone who understands your need to keep things interesting and who equally reciprocates that like hey i'm gonna do this little thing just to just to tease you just to tick you off it's it's a it's a little tiny thing it's not like a huge deal or whatever but it keeps things a little interesting for y'all so that's a funny cute little energy um yeah for some for for those of you for this is a sexual relationship that you are also looking for i'm definitely seeing you need um the other person to be very patient um and nurturing as a, of a person in in it in sexual times and you also need them to be very kinky you need things to switch up a lot in the bedroom like you just prefer for it to be you prefer a variety you know and i totally understand that bro like I totally understand that but it's it's definitely nothing to be ashamed of um but it can be harder to find those kind of people so don't be afraid to speak out about what your sexual interests are if the fact that you like to switch things up um with a partner you know um because those things need to be talked about um to like establish boundaries and establish like what the um what e what, what each other's interests are what y'all are like what are like hard nose for each other so kink nego negotiation is a very um and scene negotiation is very important for you in relationships um some of you who are leaning more towards the polyamorous circle might um prefer relationships with people who are open to swinging um threesomes things um sexual endeavors that involve bringing other people into the um, picture not not necessarily long term probably maybe i don't feel like a lot of you are like long term polyamorous relationships but you just like to sexually bring in another person another few people to spice things up um and that's sort of something that might be important for you later on um in a relationship like it doesn't it doesn't seem like a big deal but like as much as y'all like to keep things interesting with each other um bringing another person into the picture consensually of course um would make things more fun for both of you obviously i want to stress like non-consensual third parties are always going to end up a toxic situation like um this pile should just really be careful of ending up in toxic situations because it's easy to be attracted to that dynamic when you can't find that sort of drama that you need in in a healthy person in a healthy way um but you should really try and find that and really try like just talking about that with the uh, healthy partners that you have like i want the drama i want you know to keep things interesting it's okay to want those things um just make sure that you're not putting yourself into toxic relationships just to be able to get that um because it can be hard to find those things especially if you aren't like if you're a little shy to talk about it or to ask for it um but yeah your ideal person relationship is just very not is very abnormal it's very out of the norm um it's very dramatic keeping things interesting it's very spicy kinky and um yeah so that 
is your reading pile four if you feel attracted to any of the other piles feel free to choose those ones as well okay, pile five he chose the mountain emoji this can be your reading on your ideal pressure relationship again like i stress in all the other piles this doesn't just mean one specific person this is just the type of person you should be looking for because i am representing my poly folks out there who have multiple partners so this is just the ideal type of person or people that you should be looking for and romantic or sexual relationships if you're non-sexual asexual just ignore all the sexual stuff from this reading what is pile five's ideal relationship look like what does pile five need in a relationship pile five Pile five. Okay. So Spirit is definitely saying there's some karmic cycles you need to close out before you'll be able to find your ideal relationship really um you have a lot of karmic cycles that have to do with having romantic relationships with other people so you just gotta figure that out but your ideal person would be someone who is actively working on themselves and working to heal themselves someone who's definitely not caught up in their own karmic cycles because they are actively working on their karmic cycles um you need someone who is successful like has who has already found success obviously you know that's that's harder to find in people it's not like a be-all end-all trait that you need but you do work better in relationships with people who have already found their success and are just reaping the fruits of their labor. Um, I don't know why, that's just how it is. Like pile four, or maybe it was pile three, like pile four, I think you would prefer someone who has a bit of money, a bit of luxury, um, Or maybe you would just prefer someone who doesn't settle for less. Someone who has a very strong sense of self-worth to the point where they um, don't settle, really. They put themselves out there for what they really want. Um, honestly, I'm just feeling the energy of someone very outspoken. You would prefer to... Um, Engage in a relationship with someone who isn't afraid to speak out for what they want, ask for what they want, um, point out different things um, about the situation. You would also, your ideal relationship is with someone who could go out in nature with you, go on a hike with you, go on a walk with you, stay in the woods with you, go camping with you. Just someone who is open to like nature time. Maybe going to a lake or something. Really, for this pile, I'm feeling like long-term energy. I keep hearing marriage in my head, like you want to marry this person. So your ideal partner um, is someone you would um, is someone you would want for the long term. You definitely aren't the type of person to do things just for the short term or like you, you you aren't intentionally going into things with the idea of it only being for short term it's not that you're intentionally going into things with the idea of it being long term either some of you are but some of you aren't really doing that but subconsciously like um deep down you want a partner for the long term um you don't really want to switch between a bunch of different partners um if you do have multiple partners, you want those partners to be long-term. Or maybe some of you even just want one long-term partner in a few different side pieces that, like, might be short-term, but you need that one long-term person. Like, at least one long-term person in your life. Um, just someone... Some of you might already even have somebody in mind, somebody you knew since childhood, because I keep seeing, like y'all going through y'all's entire life together, but, um, 
even if it's not that, I feel like your ideal person has the energy where you feel like you've spent your whole life with them, you just understand them, um, you understand, like, their childhood and their history and their past or whatever, um, yeah, you just understand the darker parts of them, you, you don't mind getting down to the nitty gritty because, like, you aren't afraid to be real with this person, you would prefer somebody who you can get real with, who can, um, still be there for you even when things get real and maybe a little scary um yeah and again someone who's actively working on their karmic cycles and actively working to be a better person and to not only progress as a person but to help the collective progress just a progressive person in general um because you really need someone who's healthy you really need someone who's healing trying to fix themselves like that's your ideal person and partner because that's for the long term that's um yeah and again like some of you might prefer somebody who has a bit of money or is just financially stable enough to where you don't have to worry about them they aren't worrying about themselves and you can worry about your own stuff so that is your ideal person relationship pile five i hope it resonated if you liked any of the piles as well you feel free to choose them